it's Mari. I have this card making process today for you for honeybee stamps and this is part of a video hop today celebrating the let's celebrate release over at honeybee and I'm just showing you the die set I'm going to be using today called the lovely layers hydrangea die set and I'm also going to be using a paper from the team tie-dye six by six paper pad. This is a really fun paper pad that's full of designs that were created by the design team and in that little black section on the front cover there you can see the names of all of the contributors to this paper pad these are the papers here that I created with some alcohol ink I'm going to use that one that I just took out there and I'm just going to quickly flip through the rest of this paper pad it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so fun to know that the design team or the ones who actually created this paper it's just a really cool concept I think it's it's just super neat and so like I said this is called team tie-dye and it is available in the Honey Bee Shop as part of the Let's Celebrate release. So I'm just going to finish flipping through. There's actually two sheets of each one of those different designs. Gorgeous, gorgeous papers and beautiful for your backgrounds on your cards. really inspired by the colors in this paper and so this was the inspiration for choosing the inks that I'm going to be using for my project. Now this is the palm blender from Honey Bee Stamps. It's a really great blending tool for creating a large area of ink blending. I have some Bristol Smooth cardstock here on my table and I'm going to blend on a couple of different inks onto this paper. I'm going to start off here with a Pink Fresh Studio ink called Soft Lilac and I just thought this was really really pretty as a base color. Now of course you could use colored cardstock but I just went into my ink stash and matched up the colors of ink to my background paper and I didn't have a color of cardstock that matched as well as this ink so that's why I did my ink blending. So I'm going to blink <laughs> blend the ink which together could be blink. I'm going to blend the ink onto this really nice smooth cardstock until I'm happy with the blend and then I will die cut my hydrangea dies out of that paper. So those lovely layer hydrangea dies are going to create this beautiful layered floral piece for my card front. So you're just seeing me here blending on, just going to grab more of that ink and blend on until I have just a really nice smooth blend. And what I love about this blending brush like I said earlier is it blends out really fast because there are so many bristles and it's so large and it's really really easy to hold in your hand as well so it really makes ink blending super simple and the Bristol Smooth cardstock is a really nice paper to work with when you are doing some blending in a, on a large area like this it just really makes it go go nice uh, nice and smooth a really nice pretty blend so uh, once I'm happy with how that's going to look it doesn't have to be super solid because I am going to do a darker color on top so I'm going to go ahead and die cut all of those pieces out of the ink blended cardstock I'm not going to show you all of it because it's just the same thing over and over so I cut out all of my different hydrangea pieces from the dies and I also cut coordinating pieces of vellum because I want to add layers of vellum in between all of my different layers of florals here I just thought it would add a really nice delicate bit of extra texture now the leaves for my florals I'm going to color up with salvaged patina oh my gosh new favorite distress color I absolutely love it it's gorgeous and it matches the blue alcohol ink that I used for my team tie-dye paper perfectly so the between the salvaged patina and the soft lilac perfect colors that go with my background so I'm just using a ranger blending tool this is one of the dome blending tools and I just didn't want to um, I just I had already started this blending tool here with salvage patina for another project so I just reached for it it blends really nicely onto this cardstock and I didn't want to have to clean my palm blender at this point in time so I just grabbed this one and it works well too and I'm just going to go ahead and get that all blended out and cut, die cut out my leaves of course the leaf die is also included 
in the lovely layers hydrangea die set. So now I'm going to take my tiniest honey bee blending brush. I love this little blending brush from Honey Bee because it's so great for little detail areas. Now I'm taking a darker ink from Pink Fresh. This one's called Candy Violet and it just layers so nicely over top of the soft lilac and creates a little bit of a darker kind of uh, depth and it just creates an, a little bit more interest with the florals. You can see how it matches perfectly with my background paper and then you can just see how nice that's going to pop behind my vellum. So really love that and I'm going to go ahead and apply that and blend that on to each one of my different layers of my lovely layers hydran hydrangea dyes. So you can just see, I'm going to show you blending. I think I show you blending this entire layer here, but I'm not going to show you every layer because it's just re repeating the same blending over and over again. And I do blend out a little bit toward the edges of the petals as well, just because I just wanted them to show be below the underneath that vellum. But I am also going to leave just a little bit of that light soft lilac showing as well so that there's some depth to each one of the petals. So love this. And even though this is going to be layered on top and you're not going to see all of these different layers, but I do want to create this depth so that where you can see the different little areas, you do have that depth and color and the variation in color with the different petals. So I just really love how this is going to look when it's all finished. Now I did stick this down to my mat with a little bit of sticky grid. That's a Sizzix product. And I just really like that because it's not moving at all. You can just see how simple this makes blending. So I've got my sticky grid on my mat and then I stuck the, the die cut piece to the sticky grid and it's just sticking there nice and firm while I go ahead and blend on my color. And I'm actually tapping the color off on a, just a piece of scrap cardstock off to the side. So I pick up the ink, I tap off a little bit of the excess just so that it doesn't go down too dark at the beginning and then blend it out. And there you can just see how that nice vellum is going to layer over top. It's just going to add that little delicate texture to my project, which I absolutely love. And yeah, the lovely layers are going to come together in the most lovely way with the combination of the ink blending and the vellum. It's just going to look really pretty. So while I'm finishing this up, I just wanted to mention there is a giveaway involved in this YouTube hop today for the celebration of the Let's Celebrate release. So make sure you check the description box below for all of the different information about the giveaway today. And this is just a really fun way to celebrate all of these beautiful new products in the Honey Bee Shop as part of the Let's Celebrate release. It's such a fun release. Now, there you go. I'm just showing you again how that vellum is going to work. And I'm also going to put a little touch of this candy violet onto the centers of the vellum pieces as well. I'm just going to show it here with this one piece of vellum so that you can see how this is going to look, but it's just going to be a really, really super subtle little bit of color. And I think it's just so pretty. I love that. I'm going to add a little bit of detail to the salvage patina with a little bit of distress oxide in the peacock feathers and the peacock feathers and the salvage patina are just a beautiful blend. They are a match made in heaven, really. And so you can just see here, I'm using another one of my small honeybee brushes, one of the tinier ones, just to blend on some of that darker color. I'm blending on the darkest area, sort of like on that stem. I'm trying to go up into the center area as well. And I will blend on a little bit of that peacock feathers around the edges of my leaf as well. I don't want to totally go over top of the salvage patina because obviously it's like so beautiful. I don't want to cover it up. I just want to add a little bit of dimension to the leaf by adding some of that darker ink with that peacock feathers. So here you can just see again, I'm just going to do another leaf here and I do end up um, using, I have three leaves cut that I'm going to use on my card. So I will do this, repeat the same process for all three of the leaves and just leaving a little bit of that beautiful salvage patina popping out in different areas as a highlight on each of the leaves and the darker area shadow um, with the peacock feathers to create that depth again in the color of the different little areas. So there, I guess I am going to show you the third leaf as well. I was thinking I had only filmed the two leaves, but here you can just see that third leaf. I'm just pushing it down onto my sticky grid. I think at this point my sticky grid has lost its stick, but I'm going to attempt to hold that down a little bit as well. 
And what I should have done is just flipped my sticky grid over and that would have helped a little bit, but I think eventually it does decide it's going to stick down here to my sticky grid. Nope, it does not. <laughs> So anyways, I will struggle through that and finish up that leaf. Okay, so here is the Scallop A2 card frame dies. And this is one of my most go-to die sets in my die stash of honeybee dies. Perfect for cutting out a really nice card front for your card. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out a scalloped edge uh, frame for my card base here. And so you can just see I'm sticking that on with a little bit of repositionable adhesive onto my A2 size card base here. And that's just going to create the beautiful card front. Such an easy way to create a really interesting and beautiful background for your card by using this team tie-dye paper pad. Now here you can just see I've put a little bit of the Honey Bee liquid adhesive onto the centers of that, that uh, blended area of the die cut, the ink blended area, and I'm just in the centers adding that adhesive. I'm layering the vellum on top. I'm just going to press that down. I will give that just a second or two to adhere, and then you can just see here I'm using that same liquid adhesive from Honeybee to glue down my hydrangea to my card front. I will use a little bit of um, a dimensional adhesive, so I'm using some glue dots between the cardstock layers, and here you can just see I'm adding to the back of the next layer of the hydrangea uh, the glue dots just to give a little bit of dimension and so each one of these different layers of the hydrangea are a little bit smaller so the largest layer goes on the bottom and you can see that there's it's very easy to line it up because of the different little shapes that are on the dies it makes it super super easy to layer and here you can just see I'm going to add the vellum in each of the different layers with that liquid adhesive again just to make sure that it stays put and I will use a little bit of foam adhesive between this layer and the last just to make sure that I'm getting even more dimension as the the card is put together but I do believe this is the only layer that I use the foam adhesive because that foam adhesive is quite a bit more dimensional I wanted to mention but you know you have to also remember that this might possibly have to be mailed so you want to keep that in mind when you're adding the dimension to the different layers of your card so I'm going to push that down to the last layer here and here goes my next layer of vellum and I'm going to get that adhered down as well and yeah, so lots of dimension, lots of texture with these different layers, so pretty. And then the final layers that you add are the single uh, blooms. And so there's, there is a couple of dies in this die set that has just the single blooms, which are perfect for adding to the top layer of your hydrangea. I just absolutely love the Lovely Layers series at Honeybee Stamps. If you've never checked out the Lovely Layers dies, it is a series of dies that Honeybee has with each one of their releases. They're just really, really fun die sets and so fun to put together for your projects. Now, those are the leaves. Obviously, I'm going to put the three leaves in to kind of create a little visual triangle here with my hydrangea. And I will put a little bit of foam adhesive at the tip of each one of the leaves and pop those up a little bit here as I go and I'm also showing you there is a die set uh, or as part of the die set for the lovely layers there is a little die that you can use to cut out the centers and I cut that out of some gold foil paper and here you can just see here is a, the bitty buzzwords stamp and die set from this release I absolutely love this so great for stamping and die cutting out all kinds of different sentiments I didn't use the stamp on this on this particular project I just used the dies and I'm going to use the sentiment hugs so I cut the scripty hugs from some black cardstock and I'm going to layer it over the white background die that I cut here and just going to glue that the black to the white background and then I will pop that up on some dimensional adhesive here and place that onto my card. So my sentiment obviously is going to be hugs on my card and I'm going to get that all stuck down to the card front here and just loving how that's looking. I love that pop of the black on that white background. I think it just looks really really stunning and 
Love it. Really love how that looks. So here's where I'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive to the tip of each one of the leaves just to pop those up a little bit as well so that they're not completely flat. And that's just the only area I'm going to do that in on those leaves is just the tip because I did want the bases to be more flat and we just get that little bit of pop of dimension and added texture to the card in that way. So that is all finished up now. I'm going to add some white splatters to my card in my spot box here. I just love how that finishes it off. It just like brings everything together. It just adds that little bit of extra um, texture to the card. This is some Dino Wakely gloss spray and it dries really nice and dimensional and I love how that looks. I hope you enjoyed my card project today. Make sure you check the description box below for the next person to hop over to in the hop. And I had so much fun creating this card for you today. Have an amazing day, everybody. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you another time here on Honeybee Stamps. Bye.